who I am. Do you know why you're here? You've been getting your ass kicked all morning. And you don't even know why. I'm a federal prosecutor. Ding, ding. Yeah, what now? Yeah. Copy. <laughs> Sir. Some men found a woman sneaking around one of your warehouses. They're bringing her in now. A woman? Listen, man, I have money I can pay you. Fabulous, well done. Congratulations. But Harry, do I look like a man who needs a second stream of income? Did I put away someone close to you? Ooh, you're getting warmer. I've overseen hundreds of criminal cases. Well, let me narrow it down for you. Is the name Michael Richardson ring a bell? Hmm? Hmm. Yeah. You see, he's my brother. Right. Shit is right. A little exposition for you, Alexander. See, Harry here. He is a federal prosecutor. <laughs> he wasn't lying about that. But there's more to him than meets the eye. Isn't that right, Harry? I know you're doing a little secret, Harry. <coughs> Whatever information you're working off is inaccurate. Hmm. So you're not also working as an agent for the CIA. And you don't authorize clandestine operations across the globe. And you didn't snatch my brother in the middle of the night and send him off to one of your black sites. It's not a no. Listen, I, I can probably find out where your brother is. Just give me a chance. <laughs> now you want to barter, huh? Yes, yes, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Just, just don't. Mm -hmm. Now you want to barter? Yes. No. My brother never had the chance to barter. See, you, you, you took, you took my brother. Now. has yet to comment, but what we do know is that two American officials were taken yesterday in a brazen and bloody midday kidnapping. Oh, you know that, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk about my cycle in front of this handsome gentleman. No, I meant you're bleeding on your head. Oh, yeah, right, thanks. I knew that. Who are you? I'm Bao. We've been kidnapped. They are trying to ransom us. Yeah, I know. You know? Yeah, we are the Consulate General. Jason Foster, ex-Naval Quartermaster, first cousin to our sitting president, who I never voted for. 49, divorced, no kids and a secret love of Sudoku. You're Donna Mathers, secretary extraordinaire, happily married, mother of twins, yikes, <laughs> avid bowler, and team captain of the Guttermouths, sweet name. Military? Something like that. 
Was it the boots that gave it away? What do these guys want? They want to trade your boss for their boss. So you're here to rescue us? Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm not too optimistic. That's rude. Why? Is it because I'm a woman? No, because you're beat up, handcuffed, and being held in an armed compound. There's guards everywhere. Who are you? I'm part of a multinational special covert team, but I wouldn't want to bore you with the details. Which one? You know, it wouldn't be very covert if I went blabbing to every guy who flashed a smile at me. Where are we? Looks like an old barn. Can you be a little more specific? A cartel compound just outside of Durango City. I'm not 100% sure because I had this funky potato sack on my head for the last few hours. How do you plan on signaling your team? They took all your gear. Not all my gear. What are you doing? Don't worry about it, suit. Trade secrets. What's that? I have manipulated a lockpick into the wiring of my bra. I find that untrained men hesitate to feel a girl up. Perfect. <laughs> Mr. Foster. My name is Diego Richardson. I apologize for the subpar lodgings and extensive physical abuse you've suffered since your arrival. Let me assure you we're not meant to be harmed. I take full responsibility for this breakdown in communication. Too late, pal. Uh, you. You must be the soldier my men captured sneaking on one of my other properties, huh? Unlike the dear Mr. Foster here, I have no trouble telling my men to torture you for information. Oh, save your time, buddy. That aftershave you're wearing is torture enough. <laughs> okay. You know, we'll see. What do you want from me? I intend to trade you and your beautiful secretary over there for my brother, Michael. Ooh, exciting. Getting a patient with your lip, bitch. Yeah, my mom says that's why I can't find a man. You speak out of pocket again, and I'll feed you to my pigs. Now I gotta make a few phone calls. You just sit tight. I apologize for that outburst. It's such a, a nasty business. I don't like doing it. it. Brings out the ugly side of me. See, my brother, he was the one who usually handles this stuff. I, I wanted to be a veterinarian. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's not the first time I've been choked up by a man. You know, women like that sort of thing. He could have killed you. Maybe. Do you ever take anything seriously? I don't know. What kind of answer is that? Why'd you provoke him? Because it's not easy being a woman operating in a man's world. Guys like that, thinking that he lords over people, always threatening, treating women like his playthings. Yeah, that status quo is changing. And I'm not gonna shut up for anyone, especially that gaping asshole. Good enough answer for you. Why didn't you fight him off? Because, Donna, we have one thing going for us. They don't know that we're free of our restraints and that help is on the way. So what's the plan? We gotta get out of here. They're hiring at Applebee's.
Let's go. I think I should have a gun. No. You see this path right here? Yeah. I want you to run to the end of it and hide, okay? Well, what are you gonna do? I just have one little thing that I need to take care of. Don't worry, I'll be okay. Here, the safety is on. It's this little button right here. Just push it in if you wanna shoot, okay? Red means dead. I finally learned how to push your buttons. I'm the only one that gets to tell jokes here, Jay. Gold star for the effort, though. Gotcha. All right, guys, I'm going to meet you down at the end of the line. If I'm not there in five minutes, I want you to keep heading north. My team is going to be coming from that direction, OK? okay. All right, go. You don't know how they escaped. Of course it was the woman. What do you mean you can't find them anywhere? The men have searched the whole property, all 112 acres. <laughs> You're telling me they're gone. No! Keep it looking. Keep me apprised of the situation. You better have good news. Yes, actually. If those locks weren't so easy to pick and your guards weren't so complacent, I don't think we ever would have gotten out of there. You. Yep. You know, you might have lost your bargaining chip, but that doesn't mean that we still can't be friends. I'll devote my entire life to finding and killing you. Hold a grudge much. You know, that's not very friendly. Bitch. Words hurt, man. You know, I couldn't help but notice that you left before my friends could arrive. That's really too bad because I wanted you to meet them. But since you couldn't stick around, I left you a little present. It's in your middle console. Alexander, pull over. Yes, sir. What's in the middle console? I don't know. It's a GPS transponder. You know, originally I'd used it so that my team could track my location. But now it's so that we could track you. <laughs> track me? Have you ever heard of an MQ-9 Reaper? Also known as a Predator drone? I'll find you. <laughs> 